Greetings, my friends, and welcome back to Kaiser Reich, in which we're playing as that beautiful United Kingdom with the appropriate flag, I believe. Uh, last time, we finally took out the Union of Britain, and we basically reformed the United Kingdom in the whole miles, and we also have Northern Ireland under our rule as well, even though it's not cored. Hopefully, there is a way to court, but eventually, we got some Canadian aid that arrives. Thank you, Dominion of Canada. Venezuela has now elected a syndicalist government, which we actually probably need to go back and fight. So, Dean has given some aid, and then... Their justification against us and our allies. The Empire of Japan is justifying against us, Australia's in Confederation. And Serbia is justifying against Sardinia. Oh, crap. This is not going to be good. Sardinia owns all of Italy right now, but syndicalist militias remain active. While there is a feeling amongst most Britons that the war is over and their willingness to fight has been exhausted, there remains a number of syndicalist militia groups that are still active. They remain hidden, both in the northern foothills and very deep within the UK's larger urban areas. Militia leaders are reportedly trying to make Stoke or Stoke resistance against King Albert and the tyrannical Reconstruction Authority. While they've been met with very limited success so far, it can only get worse if the BRA takes actions that anger socialists once more. We need to move carefully. Serbia, for the love of God, do not go against Sardinia. For the love of God, don't do that. They're going to proclaim the Kingdom of Italy. That's kind of cool. Now it's going to be America. Oh, proclaim Sardinia Piedmont. They could do that. Renounce any claims, but they have everything here, so they might as well do this. And they get cores everywhere. That's good. Belgian Declaration of In Independence. Um, I don't know if I let you do that. Union soldiers return home, and Japan has gone to war with India. Mm hmm. Oh boy, now it's going to be World War Three. Quite literally. You're still my puppet, though. So, Union soldiers return. Now that the war is done, surviving soldiers who fought for the Union of Britain have begun to trickle back into the cities. Some still injured, but most simply fearful that they will suffer repercussions or something for something that they have no control over. Many are looking to re-enlist into the military, even though the British home army is no, by, by no means ready to accept them just yet. Even so, should these men be treated as veterans? That will mean treating their injuries and providing them with stipends. A large number of Britons have sympathy for them, but they were also the same men who, until just recently, were killing their own countrymen for the syndicalists. Should that, should that be rewarded? We won't support traitors. They'll receive a little bit of help, but not stipend. They were only give, they were only doing as they were told. Give them some full support. Um, we get more manpower. You know what? We won't support traitors. I really don't want to support traitors. But a lot of them are, were probably okay. You know, it's probably quell their ambitions too if we just do this. That'd probably be okay. Uh, we definitely need a bigger army. Holy crap. Especially since Japan just declared war and we have no one here. We need that manpower, so. Of course, we need guns as well, which we have none of. But that's just me. Do we even have a navy at all? Like... No? Okay. I hope everyone's mobilizing. And you know what? This is actually okay to go to war for now. Popularity of King Albert is very high, which is good. Uh, we could leave the IEDC, but we're going to join the war immediately just so that we can make sure that we have justification for going further to war. Everyone's been called in, and now it's one giant mess. Exile relief efforts begin. While Britons may not be yet great before the presence, the returning exiles are undoubtedly be in the best position to offer relief in those in the UK who have been left ravaged by the war. Mount... Mount Lord Mountbatten has led the way, spending millions of his own funds to set up a homeless relief shelter in the heart of Manchester and Liverpool, and has called on for his fellow exiles to follow suit. Soup kitchens and tent cities have sprung up from one end of the country to the next, some government funded by many underwritten by the wealthiest exiles, most of whom have expressed, like Lord Mountbatten, that it is, it is their duty to help those who have been left behind. Yes. And this is exactly why I want to go to war, so we can get some more material weaponry, so we can improve our capabilities more quickly. And they should be led by Percy Hobart. Yes. Looks pretty good to me, honestly. Pretty good. And Austria's been called in. Even though at this point we we will be fighting eventually a two front war because Serbia wants Montenegro and stuff. What is that? Japan's looking pretty fierce. Hopefully America can do well. Yeah, the America can. The Kingdom of Lan Lanzang, Lanzang. The Kingdom of Italy been restored. British bankruptcies increase. Vauxhall Motors Limited closed the doors on its Lutton headquarters today, making the, the third major bankruptcy declaration since the creation of the BRA. Most of these large companies had transferred over to a union ownership during British rule, and when the future of unions and serious question has left these companies in a state of limbo and without leadership. The BRA is prepared to step in and seize temporary uh, ownership of corporations, corporations that threaten to close in this manner, though doing so would leave them in a state where the production is still in a standstill. If the situation is not resolved soon, British unemployment levels could reach record heights within months. This is not good. And it looks like, like Italy's doing okay. Wow, I love America. Please, I need, I need fact. Oh, look at Kingdom of Italy. It's very green. They don't get cords on stuff, stuff though. Yet, friendship with the French is probably a good idea. Oh, they should get another research lab. Industrialize the South. Ooh, claim Italian territory. Claim Sardino. Ooh. Hold on. I thought they were supposed to get cores. Okay, so they don't get cores. I'm going to core stuff for them because that's ridiculous. They don't get a core everything here. Because that's, that's a huge drain on manpower. That is a massive drain. Yes, they're on, like, extensive conscription. But if this is the Kingdom of Italy, this should all be cored. Like, let's be real here. 
Hopefully they have decisions in which they can core stuff. But... That's not cool if they can't. Yes, everyone's giving me aid. Yes, 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 yes. Yeah, definitely not gonna leave. Doing hopefully better on guns right now, but we'll see what happens. Seeing as our army is just woefully unprepared, and we gotta be ready for the war in Europe eventually. And we have no ships, so... I'm trying to make carriers. We do have some naval XP, which is not bad. Uh, let's, let's go and improve this and maybe make some cruisers. Oh, good lord. Oh. Fire control, do that with zero. Radar. Level four is not bad. Level three is not bad. Level two, nah. Level three, not bad. Oh my goodness, this is going to take everything that we got. We not, might not be able to get everything that we want to. Oh no. Get some anti air. Yeah, we won't be able to get everything. God dang it. Let's see. Over here. Anything else over here? Uh, anti-air is looking not too bad. We'll probably go with some more anti-air. You guys can do basically both of the same things. God, that sucks. You have, like, no progress. I just do that. It really doesn't matter. Go to Yorkshire. Okay, so the BRA operations begin. With Parliament itself, so the Prime Minister Henry Page Cross, standing next to King Albert, stood on the steps to announce that the British Reconstruction Authority was officially underway. Members of Parliament were already streaming into the building for the first session, where discussions would be held on the emergency lifting of import restrictions, and there was a definite feeling among the large crowd that things were going to soon to return to normal. A few protesters holding union signs disturbed the ceremony only briefly before being led away by a policeman. Good. Greece. Thank you. I thank all the members who are trying to help us out. Fate of the unions. Start the trials. Let's do fate of the unions. While syndicalism is gone, the UK is still left with a multitude of unions who have no idea where they stand. Are they dissolved? Is there to be no worker representation at all? The decision remains to be made. We can make some royal visits to... Oh! British Reconstruction. Well, it looks like we're not going to be making any more visits anytime soon. Years of war have ravaged Great Britain. More than that, the islands have been, have been under syndicalist rule for more than a decade. For the second time in the life of most British citizens, the entire world is being turned upside down. Trials will be held once... Oh, trials will be held. The country torn down and rebuilt from scratch, and the old made new once more. Cool! Reconstruction projects begin. Given the green light by the BRA, a huge number of reconstruction projects have begun operation throughout the country. With loan restrictions loosened or outright ignored, the, con the construction companies have been able to hire on many thousands of eco workers and begin the process of restoring homes to Britain's teeming numbers of homeless families. As the first houses had had their frames up or put up, cheering watchers said it was the first real feeling hope that they've been experiencing in months. There's so many things we need to do. Decentralize the economy. Oh my goodness! Holy crud! Cynicalist resistance, which is eh, okay. We're looking to see the revolution is not bad. Actually, that's, uh, actually, that's not good. We lose weekly stability, but we get more daily political power. That's not bad. I like more political power. Uh, Post-war devastation. Oh my gosh. That is extremely bad. Oh my goodness. Um, honestly, restored order. Oh yeah, we can rebuild the empire. I like that. The Irish question. Cool. Author Hold Near understood police. While most of the Union of Britain's cynical leadership have either gone into hiding wars with Os Oswald Mosley, fled the country entirely, Arthur Holnell appeared today and surrendered himself to the British police. Even though he knew that this was me being placed on trial, he said, I cannot, in good conscience, abandon my socialist brothers and sisters. We may have lost the war, but the battle is still being fought for the workers every day. If they are to be put on trial for their ongoing fight against oppression, then so shall I. Holnell's support turned up in a large number of to silently watch him being led to prison. His actions appear to have been stirred up shit, appear to have stirred up cynical support, which had been thought withered away by the end of the war. Oh, boy. Leave the IEDC? Yeah, I don't think so. Royal visits? I don't mind that. Royal tour. He's already very high popularity. More paternal autocracy. Royal address to the on top. More war support, which is okay. I prefer stability. Increase the UK stability. War support. Mobile positions before a year. German aid arrives. Thank you, Germany. Actually, thank you very much. We're going to use that probably immediately. Send in the army for more stability. We could do that. We got to do that, too. Pass the settlement act. More war support. Uh, lesson by a small amount. Uh, let's see. Create the Relief Agency's Council. The Beverage Report. Well, let's go ahead and lessen the stuff first. Let's do Create the Relief Agency Council. There are a number of relief agencies such as the CARE and the Red Cross who are eager to come into Britain. Their help is sorely needed, but some kind of agencies to coordinate them is deeply or desperately required. Not to mention that we wish to avoid the possibility that syndicalists or even Germans use such relief efforts as a means to spread propaganda and influence. I don't think the Germans are going to have too much of a problem. Oh god, we're out of manpower. Oh, we are such the UK. We are so the UK. Actually, they're attacking. I'm glad I united in the Dominion of India. Because they have... Oh my gosh, they got all these cores. Ooh. Oh, we can't request guarantee support. How much manpower do they have? Oh, God, that's a lot of manpower. Oh my goodness. I'm so glad we helped them out when I was playing as Canada. Because 
even though they're losing right now, at least they got a lot of manpower. That's nice. Hopefully the enemies are taking a lot of losses, but come on, guys. you got to help out the front line. I, I don't want to send guys since I have no navy. Bing -bing. I'm joining with my cat, Binky, who's having a good time with uh, my room, we'll say. Please stop using militia, though. For the love of God, please stop using militia. And this will all help out. And the post-war devastation. Yeah, so that should be good to help out. That would be very good, actually. Oh, my goodness. How's the war looking right now? Uh, Empire of Japan, Australasian Confederation is doing okay, and Selinda. Fate of the Union. So, the defeat of the Union of Britain brought it with it the destruction of the old trade unions that had supported the syndicalist regime. However, there's still the question of whether Britain, British workers should be allowed to organize on a local basis to defend their interests, and indeed, there's an entire infrastructure of labor groups ready and waiting to begin setting up unions once again, and merely waiting to see what the government considers acceptable now. Banning them entirely will not go over well with these groups, to say the least. One argument is that the government should set up a small number of controlled unions and ban the rest. Still others say that the unions aren't the problem, and trying to get rid of them now will only invite disaster. Uh, social democracy, set up government controlled unions, ban the rest, we'll have no, uh, ban them all. I kind of like that idea, especially with the way we've gotten now. I want to get rid of cynical support, actually quite a bit. Social democracy, we're, we're currently paternal autocrats. Uh, we're going to set up government-controlled unions, ban the rest. We'll try that. Next up, start the trials. The fate of the unions is very separate from the union leadership. In particular, those people who ran the U Union of Britain and who made the decisions to pit British soldiers against British soldiers. They must be put in trial, and their fate made an example of all those who would follow them. Very cool. Very good. Uh, how's the war going for now? Because uh, we're not really involved. Call these guys into 129. Eh, they're losing a few more guys, especially with Japan. Uh, India has lost a few guys, but that doesn't matter. New protests over banning of unions. Labor supporters took to the streets across the country today, angry protesting the government's plan to take control of the unions. The fact that the several will continue to exist under government control is considered far from acceptable. We're right back where we started, aren't we? One woman demanded of reporters, "If we allow this, then the government will walk all over us again." The police have been re reinforced by the British Army, but have so far taken no direct ans again action against the protesters for fear of escalation. Give them their unions before this escalates. We're not backing down. Suppress the protest immediately. The protest is likely to become stronger. We're, yeah, we're not, I'm not backing down. Are you kidding me? Yeah. No way. Did you not see what ended up as a result of all these unions coming together? Look, we don't mind some unions. But come on, man. Come on. Oh, yeah. How's this improving? Oh, this is doing a lot better. So much better than earlier. So much better. But still, not great. Uh, wartime rationing ends. Good. A bit of good news to greet the country today. The wartime rationing, which must have endured for over well for well over a year now, in some cases much longer, have officially been lifted by the BRA authorities. Import restrictions have been removed, and already British supermarkets are seeing the return of meat and cheeses and fruits and all, that all but vanished since syndicalist rule began. For many Britons, even though they may still have their meals funded by the government, this is a sign that things are substantially improving, which is a great, great thing, even though we're still losing a lot of weekly stability. Which really sucks. God, I wish I was to control all these armies. More anger over the union bans. Protests over the bans against the unions have continued, particularly in Wales and Scotland. Labor leaders are maintaining the position that allowing the government to control when and where the British workers can stand up for themselves will inevitably lead to exploitation. Thankfully, it seems as if these protesters, protesters are losing steam, though at the same time, there's evidence that the syndicalist militias are also taking on a lot of recruits. This could get, could get uglier. Bring it on. Bring it on. I swear to God. You try to rebel against us, and we'll show you a good time. We beat you once, we'll beat you up again. Um, I'm not sure why... Russia does not give this to Prussia. The German Empire has claims on all this territory, which is fine. But they won't even give some of the stuff to Poland. Whatever. Uh, we're out of manpower. We could get more rubber. Do we need more rubber? Eh, work is zero. We could maybe use a little bit more rubber, but we'll wait a little bit. Ship designs. It's 44. Better planes. Let's go and grab that. Because we maybe we'll use carriers eventually. Maybe we'll use them. Maybe we won't. 1.22 a day. Not bad. Not great, but not bad. Oh, Netherlands canceled on lease. This is looking so much better. Thank God for the rest of the Entente. Please, Serbia, do not do this. Oh, they got a few weeks left. Oh, my goodness. Good. Got some carrier fighters. That'll be good. Pretty good. Still could use some more chromium, though. Don't really want to trade away for it since we're barely making factories, so. How is the war going? Look, it looks extremely brutal. A quarter million, almost a third of a million. Wow. Sam has lost a lot of guys. How many? How much man? Sam probably uh, has no manpower. Okay. Excavation five is always great to get. Uh, we can do modern oil processing, engineering. Uh, we could do that. We're gonna wait over here. We can wait. Uh, Forty-four logistics. Military police. Why not? Seems like we could really expand the military police in times like these. <sighs> so, Sam's out of manpower. How is Japan doing? They have a good amount of manpower. They are only on volunteer only, which is not good for us. Led by Yashuhito. 
So the trial. So the trials began for those syndicalist leaders captured by British forces, including Honneur, who turned himself in to the police not long ago. His trial has received considerable attention in the British media, and he's spoken eloquently about the need for Britain to come to terms with its history of labor, but also its future. Indeed, there are some who regret giving him the platform at all, and he seems to have gained many sympathizers. Sympathizers. Some policymakers suggest that these trials are best to use to make examples of traitors, but others say that harsh penalties will only inflame the resistance further. Make sure this sentences are not harsh. Um, I want political power. I'll be honest, I want it. I we could use stability, but. Part of me says, honestly, you know what? Peacefully do this, imprison them forever, but made examples of. We can't allow this to happen again. I'll just do that one, that's fine, whatever. Returning of aristocracy, question of labor, reorganize the bureaucrats, let's do that. The British government apparatus was stripped down and rebuilt in order for it to work for a government that was entirely centered on trade unions and a powerful welfare state. Now we must do it again and ensure bureaucracy exists, which will not be fighting us every step of the way. Because I want more political power. I'll be honest, I want more, 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 more. War propaganda would be nice. Actually, can we raise this? We need... Actually, we could go to war economy immediately. Oil... Old Bailey bomb. Protests against syndicalist trials have reached a favored pitch. With the labor supporters exploding with anger once the verdict's re read. Guilty on all accounts, with Hornier leaving no, no less than three consecutive life sentences. A riot outside the courtroom needed to be put down almost immediately, but even then, after it was suppressed by the night exploded, into more violence when a bomb went off at Old Bailey. As the seat of the Crown Court, the Old Bailey was a symbol of the King's justice, and the symbolism of the bombing has been lost to no one. Thankfully, the building was mostly empty at the time of the explosion, and if you were injured, it never ends. Oh, we could get a bonus of 20 per... Ooh, how much? 10% more to military factory construction speed, which actually doesn't help us that much. We get more consumer goods to use, which is nice. Let's see, 40%. Are we still doing this other one? Oh, we are. Hmm. I think I'll just go to war economy first. We get more fuel that way, too. So instead of three, we have five, and maybe we build things not that much faster, but we do get more fuel, which is nice. Portugal canceled their lend lease, so be it. We are still at 26.6 thousand. Germany canceled their lend lease, because they're probably out of lend lease abilities themselves. 1.2, not great, not bad. Mm. Oh my goodness, why did Japan have to go to war with us? Well, let's see. Let's look at the faction. So we have the Jap Go Prosperity Sphere, Japan, and a few puppets, and Korea. I'm kind of surprised the Republic of China is not in their faction. At least they didn't take them out yet. Hopefully these guys do go to. Oh crap, this is what exactly was not hoping for. That is not ideal. Why would you start a world war over here? You pieces of garbage. Serbia, why? Greek aid arrives? Great. Thanks, Greeks. We love you. Thumbs up from us. Actually, I might... I might just go straight to extensive conscription. Hmm. Guided Parliament. Return to a free government. Sinclair's resistance is reducing stability by 20% or less. Huh. Civilian rule. Muscat Muscati aid arrives? Great. Spanish aid arrives? Awesome. Awesome. Guided to Parliament. Hmm. I, I don't know. I might I might go with the guided parliament just because I don't think we're really ready yet. Why? Why would they do this? Oh, we need to get more manpower right now. Let's see. Let's look at maybe... Uh, let's see. Retraining efforts? No. Uh, what about manpower? The West Indies Federation. Take to the air. The new BBC. Yeah, we don't get any more manpower. We might as well do it now. Oh, uh, I don't want to do this, but we have to do that. Cool. And let's go ahead and improve our situation here. And do... Actually, how, what did that do for us? It lowered it by 2% for consumer goods. God dang it. That is like nothing. Um, this is so much political power. Holy crap. Uh, reduce working class taxation. We lose political power by medium amount. I like that. Expand the power system. Let's get this done now. So, bringing in old measures of taxation is not going to go over well with the working class. We're already stressed as it is with what upending the country's entire economic system. So, measures of tax relief are necessary, though it will not come without considerable argument in the House of Commons, namely regarding who gets what and for how long. We'll do that for now. All right. Australasia, I'm so sorry, but... Uh, or Canada. This is Canada, actually, not Australasia. Yeah. I don't want to do that. I, I, I can't afford to get involved right now. I just can't afford it. Oh, and Greece is going to get bushwhacked hard. They don't have that many divisions. They're holding out really well for now because they're fighting in mountains, but... For the love of God, why? Why? Russia. Oh, man. We, I wasn't hoping this would take too long for a campaign, but... We're going to go deep into this campaign, sons. Deep, 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 deep. How can I get rid of... Uh, Legacy of the Revolution? Let's go and exit that out. Ready construction complete. Fight the syndicalist. Ah, uh, it's probably under here. Fight the syndicalist resistance. Yeah, I can't afford to go to war with those guys. We already went to war with Japan. Motorhouse is looking really good, though. Uh, we only have one on them. 
Oh. Nice. 5%. It is what it is. Uh, it looks like they're really beating up the American puppets of Czechia and Hungary. Oh my goodness. Russia, why? Why? Are you... Yeah, you directly intervened in this. Well, that is god-awful. You are real aggressors, aren't you? Address, uh, support the IEDC. Yeah, we want to finish this stuff up as fast as possible. It's going to take forever to do, though. That is so not good. Prussia's not in the war yet, which is good. Well, I don't think we just have enough divisions. Malaya has capitulated, which is not good. I can't do anything, though, as the UK. We're too weak. We're just too goddamn weak. Canada. I hope we can do something. Oh, God, they split Greece. Hopefully they can do okay. Albania's not in the war. They're a Greek puppet, though. So, oh, what is that? Borneo is getting invaded? Cancel on lease. Oh, well, we can't do anything about that right now. They're returning aristocracy. Many of the wealthier exiles have returned to Britain, only to discover that their lands have been stripped, their businesses nationalized, and their homes now occupied by someone else. They want these things returned to them, but returning it to them now means stripping it from someone else. Oh, boy. We could do royal visits, but that's going to be a waste of time. Pass the Land Settlement Act, probably. We get more war support, that's not bad. Abercrombie plan. Hmm, I guess more support. Fuel refining, cool. Uh, anything for here? Yeah, let's do this one. Advanced artillery upgrade, that'd be good. 0. 0.96 a day, god dang it. Ah. Turkey's looking okay, even though they're probably fighting us. Oh yeah, all this is... Oh my goodness. Oh, they're pushing it into India as well. Oh my gosh. Seriously? Seriously? Oh wow, they're doing some mass attacks over here. That is not good. Oh, the, my infantry is just too weak to get over here, though. I'll leave the tanks behind. Hopefully they can, like, do something against them. But we've got to help out. We've got to help out against these uh, people. We'll come. But keep one in London. Keep one in Dover. We'll see what happens. Yeah, we've got to stop the, the Moscow Tide. Come on, America. You can do more than this, right? Please, core more stuff, Italy. Seems like it's going okay, though. Yeah, we've got to get involved. As long as we defend, that's all I really care about. Just defending for now. Pass the Land Settlement Act. We'll do that one next. Lots of veterans will now be returning home to Britain. And with so much land now without holders, it makes sense to grant them land that to the soldiers as a form of thanks to the government. Not to mention that it ensures that land doesn't remain follow for, what, for want of someone to work on it. Seems like a good idea, actually. Seems like a pretty good idea. Oh, let's grab that first. Nice, yes, yes, yes. Good, go and grab that. We need it. Good. Oh, they're just flooding through here. That is so bad. Who doesn't like that? If we can help stem the tide like that for now, that'd be okay. Uh, oh, who's... Oh, God, who's just fighting against us? Yemen is... Yemen. Yemen. Muscat. Guys. Claim Dofar. At least that's good. Oh, we got that one. We got that one done. Land auction, of course, has been done for a while. Hmm, I guess we get better tanks, I suppose. Carriers are coming along. Cruisers, we need to grab a few more things of chromium. Uh, no, not them. Those guys are garbage. Turkey, Serbia, Dominion of India, that's too far away. Greece, Canada. We'll do Canada. We don't have enough convoys. Okay, that's, that's different. That's definitely different. If that's the case, I'm going to lower you by three then for now. Because we need more convoys, so we'll do that. <sighs> yes, go ahead and come into the war as well. Defend, defend, defend if you can. I don't did not want to get to war early on now, but it looks like we have to. So garbage. And we're already fighting. Oh boy. But we're seeming, seeming to hold them off for now. I'm sure Russia's got a lot of manpower. We don't. German Empire's doing probably okay. Yeah, they got plenty of manpower. Russia, so much manpower on volunteer only. Holy crudderinos. Italy might be lost. Austria should be able to hold on for quite a while since they have all these mountains, but... Mm, this is unfortunate. This is really not good. You got that extra division in there? Alright, Auchinleck. You're a pretty good general. Just don't lose too much. Don't lose. Romania. Hungary. Oh, this is so sad. Oh, you're completely surrounded. Cut off. That sucks. You're still attacking me, huh? You're still attacking me, eh? See what you can do about that. See what you can do about that as well. 
And the soldiers flying against us. Yemen, whatever. Go right there. They, they need some help immediately. This is so bad. So bad. Oh, there goes Hungary. Eh, they capitulated a little slower than I thought, which is good for us. Still. Oh, they're fighting over a river. If we can keep that point, that'd be great. And focus time. Returning aristocracy. The British exiles have returned to the country only to find their lands have been stripped and by their former homes are now occupied, demanding that their property be returned. The problem is, of course, that the new occupants assume ownership legally, according to the Union of Britain. So to say having their homes now stripped from them is unfair. There's a simmering resentment against the aristocracy who fled after the uprising in 1925, which is feeding into this growing conflict, and now the government is being called in to decide the matter once for all. What was there should be restored as it was illegally taken. The current owners should be compensated, but still must give it up. The aristocracy will be compensated for their losses. I can't afford that political power loss. We'll do the medium path. And then the question of labor. One remaining question is regarding the fate of the Labor Party. Should it be allowed to campaign and field candidates for parliament, or was it the fact that it worked with the cynicalist authority enough of a betrayal that they can never be forgiven? We'll probably ban them. We probably will. Probably. We'll see what happens. Oh, we might be slowly winning here. That's good. They're still attacking us down here too, which is fine. This is like France all over again. Jesus Christ. Oh. Uh, I have no fleet, so do that. I don't think Russia has that much of a strong fleet either, but it should be okay. Yeah, I, I want to see, yeah, Cold Prosperity Sphere. Oh my goodness, the Entente's lost a lot of guys, especially India, but that makes sense. Uh, the Russian Moscow Accords, they're, they're going to lose a lot of guys. How many Russians have we killed? We have killed 6,000, not much. Japan, we've not done very much, obviously. Uh, yeah. Actually, given to clear one Muscat, which is not good. India's looking pretty okay. They lost a little bit of ground to the Japanese over here. They're just still doing okay in this area. They've actually pushed into India. Or India. India's pushed into India? No. India's pushed into Iran just a wee bit. Which is not bad. Not bad. Africa is a battlefield, to say the least. Oh, my goodness. This is so bad. Oh, crap. That's not good. Get up there, too. We can't afford that division. Afford for that division to lose. We cannot lose the waterway there. Get over there, too. Man, they're shelling the hell out of us now. Oof. Ah, oh, we're going to shell them right back. Good. That's not too bad. Tank-wise, we're doing okay. It's almost 45. I'm going to grab better engineers now. It's only 100 days, so that's not too bad. Good. We got our guys in there. Stick them in. Stick them in. They might be able to hold out against all of these guys. Is that... Those are Polish soldiers. Galicia and Mary, Not Polish, but close enough. They're fighting pretty much everyone. Yeah, we might as well. As well. Got two soldiers in there now. Good. We cannot afford to lose Frankfurt. If anything, we cannot afford to lose that one tile. West Indies have been called in. You must be getting a lot of experience. Engineer? Cool. Puerto Rico has been called in as well. The defense of Northern Germany. Why am I defending Germany? Where's the Germany soldiers? <laughs> what the heck? Oh, don't lose Mannheim. Oh, this sucks. This really sucks. Military police, not bad. Grab some more recon. Oh, actually grab some more field hospitals immediately. Because our soldiers are already using them. All right. Yes, they are, which is good. Good, 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 good. Good. I want to make some. I want to make some mountaineers, but we can't afford it. Uh, oh God. Why? Oh my goodness, they're talking with a lot of people now. Send them over this way. We just don't have enough soldiers. Oh my goodness, this is so bad. So bad. Yeah, keep them attacking over the waterway, because if they get a break over, it's it's not going to be good for us. Four divisions just defending the best they can here. With him being an engineer, it should be going up, right? Oh, God. Oh, Serbia's crushing Greece now. And the Greeks are trying to move into Turkey, but they've been kind of cut off. Oh, my goodness. All I wanted to do is rebuild my country. And yet the goddamn Russians and the Serbs and the Japanese are like, no. <sighs> they hate us so much. At least we're still mobilizing. That's good. Hey, at least we won that battle there. That's nice. Anything else? Okay, Europe is slowly winding down, in Central Europe at least, in terms of stuff. Uh, India is still slowly losing. Can someone help India? Come on, guys. These guys got cut off. That's so not good. Hey, South Africa, thanks. We appreciate your uh, help. Albania is gone, which is big sadness. Big sadness. Public recognition of the Czech government. Ex I can't afford this stuff, man. Mm, anything else? We can visit Puerto Rico. We can visit all sorts of different places, but really no point us. No point for us to. Cancel on these. Wait, did America lose some provinces? Oh, they probably don't have. Oh, they have Hawaii. 
The question of labor, we'll read that once we get through here. Oh, wait, we can't do that. It's reducing stability by 15% or more. Return free elections. Oh. Well, I guess we'll read this first. The question of labor. With well, the prospect of holding free elections, elections looming, then now the government must consider when and if said elections occur. Will the Labour Party be allowed to participate? Clement Attlee has presented himself in Parliament to make the case for the party, saying that while it did cooperate with the syndicalist government, it also didn't have much choice. The Labour Party was never in a position of power in the Union of Britain, he says, and all it could do was try to make things easier for the average citizen. The Labour movement itself should not be punished. There are those who question Attlee's moves and suggest that this personal collaboration with the Union is in itself criminal. We'll also clear that Labour has a huge amount of support. Banning it would prove difficult. Pardon? Uh... Oh. Labour can say, but Attlee has to go. Oh, uh, yeah, why not? Now, we can't do that, which really sucks. I really want to do this. Return to free government. So be it. In the last act of the BRA must be returned to the UK, the civilian rule. To hold the first truly free elections in more than a decade to keep them incident free. Free elections announced! After several months of preparation, the provisional government has completed arrangements for the first free election in Great Britain since the liberation. The king has formally issued the writ of 660 seats in the House of Commons, and the political parties have begun their campaigns, and excitement has spread throughout the country, even as those who have harbored doubts about the government's intentions do not feel like freedom is truly at hand. How liberating. Well, we'll see what happens, because it's still a battlefield in Germany. Holy crap. This is not good. These guys are getting shelled back and forth. Plenty of motorized, like I said earlier, but my goodness, this is not good. Got some of that. Better naval bombers. I mean, we're still holding, which is actually pretty nice. A little surprising that we're able to do this well. Uh, how, what is this guy? Six, level six. It's getting maybe slowly better and better, hopefully. Hmm. Let's we'll see what happens. Greece is so sad right now. India slowly losing. But still doing okay. Ah, uh, this is garbage. Going on up here. Oh, they're trying to destroy some tanks, huh? Hopefully, America can do a whole lot. How's America looking? They're still yellow, which I don't. Which is weird. Henry Wallace, a social democrat. Um, request cares and support. 19,000. They only have 19,000 manpower? They're on limited conscription? Oh, why? They have 58 divisions? America, what are you doing? The Arsenal democracy? I mean, that's okay and all, but. Yeah, that's nice, but come on. On the beaches? American Century? Yeah, how about... They did their airbase stuff. They did nothing for the Navy. Please raise your conscription level. Oh, my goodness. Oh, this core four. Oh, wait, what? The Republicans elected, but now they have... They can't do any of this stuff. Wait, oh, my goodness. Wait, hold on. So they need to be one of the following. Security acts. Market liberal or social liberal, but then you get popularity of social democracy. Why are they limited by this? This makes no sense. That is not good. And the infantry division, good. Hopefully they don't die a lot way over there. Oh, that did they actually go up north? Huh. I think we can only form more than one group at a time, so. One division at a time, I mean. Oh, crap. They're really hammering us down here. It's not good. And they left. Of course they would. Why, would, why wouldn't they? Hmm. Help them out for now. Do you have any upgrades, Montgomery? No, but you're pretty good. Maybe not, maybe not the best, but pretty good. Borneo is still getting invaded. Empire of Japan. What a bunch of jerks. What a bunch of jerks. I saw getting more manpower. They are... Oh. National populace. India. Come on, India. You got more than enough manpower to do whatever you need in the world. All you just need... Just keep defending. You shouldn't lose here. Just don't attack stupidly. <sighs> so unfortunate. I wish we could do something more. The Russians don't seem really like they're expanding too much into Africa anymore. Maybe a little bit, but not too much more, which is good, but... Ooh, 1.22 every day. Nice. How's this looking? Devastation? Slowly getting better. It's not great, but it's slowly getting better. Like I see, the revolution is still pretty bad. Oh, actually. Yeah, still minus 0.5 every week, which sucks. Cynical's resistance goes up even further. Ah. <sighs> And what was that? Reconstruction completed. Next up. We get political power and fight the syndicalist resistance. So, uh, with the BRA been instrumental in bringing back Britain from the brink and restoring its pre-syndicalist legacy, it's time, for an, its time is now at an end. The British people can finally hold their head high and look to a better future without malign influence of leftist ideology. Man, that's pretty quick. Within a few months, we were, went back to pre-revolution pre era. Huh. 
The British elections. A long last the first British election since the country's liberation are underway. One party is certain to collect the largest share of seats in Parliament, and it will be the Tories, the Liberals, the Labour Party. The effects of a syndicalist resistance will simply be lowered by five. That's not bad. Uh, liberals. Wait, which liberal? Marxist liberals or social liberals? The Tories. I, I assume that, that's like the Conservatives? I don't know the Tories, I guess, maybe. I don't know. I'm not British at all, so. Uh, United Empire. Hmm. Who are the Tories? Who are the Tories? Are they the Conservative? Oh, uh, yeah, I guess they're Authoritarian Democrat, which would make sense, I guess. I guess. I don't know. <laughs> Spanish aid rights. Ah, oh, I love Spaniards. Ah, oh, Spain is such a gr great country. Implement Abercrombie plan? Yes. Also known as the Greater London Plan, the damage done to the country's capital has left many thousands of the cities homeless. Major work will be done to rebuild it, and at the same time, we'll have an opportunity to revamp the city's transportation and zoning network to make up for so many centuries of haphazard growth and planning. Yes. So that really reduces, you know, economic devastation, but that it's pretty much worth it. And we could do all this stuff, which would be good by medium amount, large amount. we got to get it all done eventually, so I'm not really too worried about that. It's 45. Happy 45, my friends. We could grab more of that. Anything over here. Um, Slowly starting to run out of things to do, which is fine with me. Totally fine with me. Getting that done. Engineering. Let's grab some. Uh, we don't. We can't even use those, really. <sighs> Support companies. Better recon. Make sure when we hit, we hit them hard. Medium tanks. I do want to make some medium tank divisions, but we'll see what happens. And they're still striking us here. Good lord. I love the, I love the uh, enthusiasm they have, but... Man, oh man. It's getting a bit nuts, not gonna lie. 1.27 a day, not bad. Okay, guys, guys, why are you over here? You need to come to the front line in case the Russians attack more. What the heck? I understand supply issues are actually not an issue right now, but they could be. They could very well be eventually an issue. Or how about the, these guys over here? I mean, there's so much they could do. Why are you not doing it? Empire of Japan, no resistance. God dang. This is a very awkward Siam in Vietnam. Why does Siam own these areas and Vietnam does not? It must be a Germany's East Asia. Wow, that's disgusting. This makes sure si Vietnam gets all the rest of that. Oh god, they're pushing in here. Guys, why don't you defend your god dang border? I don't want to lose India. There's nothing I can do though. If I send my soldiers into the ocean, they're just going to be snapped up and beaten up. Oh, resistance has actually gone way down, which is nice. Oh, crap, there was a muscat. This it is getting stronger, which is nice. Looks like these guys can't really beat us up here, which is good. We're still mobilizing. They could, thank goodness we are. Oh, my goodness. Reconstruction completed, almost. Gun-wise, we're doing pretty well. Artillery, we need so much artillery. We need so much of everything. Holy goodness. Holy smokerinos. Uh, but at the very least, at least we are getting more... A better army. That's good. Do we, I doubt we have any ships, do we? Yeah, we have still no ships. Kind of sucks. Still have no convoys, too. Even though we put convoys on production for a while. Carriers are coming along. Uh, actually, do that one instead. There you go. There you go. Advanced cruiser hulls. Come up to the right there. That'll be good. Get one more thing of chromium. That'll be good as well. Cuba, Dominion of Canada. We'll help out the Canadians because they're great people. We need more convoys, too, though. It's okay. You guys are... Oh, what's going on with the German carrier? Subs. Uh, oh, don't sink the convoy. Germany, what are you doing with your... What? With the pride of the fleet? It's completely unprotected. What the heck, guys? <laughs> That's so bad. All right, deck investment. Uh, we read this all the time. We shall invest in what? I'm probably going to invest in a civilian... Uh, let's use military factory. I almost always choose civilian factory. I could have chosen dockyards, too, but... We could, we could use another factory. Let's be real. We could honestly use it. I mean, we are on war economy, Bismarck Sea, Sumatra, West Emperor Chain. Oh, come on. United States. Why? Why are you doing this to me? Can't you do something more, USA? Come on. Naval Doctrine. We can, we can even have a Navy. Oh, modern Cruiser Hulls, why not? <clears throat> why not? Better carry naval bombers. That'll be good. We went from level 1 to 3. Oh, my gosh. Oh, they've definitely started attacking us again. That's not good. That's not good. Oh, uh, actually, more of a... Oh, yeah, you guys go up there, then. You are still getting a lot of experience. I hope you don't die. Frankfurt cannot fall. I swear to God, it cannot fall. Reconstruction completed. Great! Restore the Ministry of Defense. Oh, we could use that immediately, probably. Restore the Anchekar? Royal Chapter... Co oh, companies regulate industrial growth. Ooh, rely on foreign investment. Oh my goodness, what is this stuff? The new BBC requires one of the following. 
Foreign investment. There are too many entrepreneurs will use the state of the British economy as a way to gain power, exploit British people. Uh, I like this. More factories, more construction speed. Jesus Christ, that's amazing. Consumer goods goes down by 5%. This is not bad either. For minus 10% consumer goods. And for more factory output. Factory output plus 20%. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. This looks really good. Oh, we could use that so well. Oh my goodness. Oh. There's so much I want to do. Reform the British Army and Navy and Ministry of Defense. Take leadership of the Entente. Has more than 25 ships in the British fleet. Restore the foreign office. The Irish question. That actually might be good to get some more manpower immediately. Let's restore the foreign office first. So, with our economy and government restored, the time has come for the UK to restore its place in the world. Well, let's see what happens. Government in exile. Let's see. We had something over here, right? Hired foreign ministry. Expand the power system. Mm, I thought there was a decision we could take. Like, didn't this give us, like, unlock decision, fight the syndicalist resistance? I want to do that. Because they're just murdering our, like, manpower. Stability, I mean. Stability. Oh, fight. There it is. We will not allow the syndicalist militias to drag us down. They lost, they lost the war for Britain once, and they will lose it again. Oh, my goodness. That does not look good. But go ahead and do that. We need to do that. Oh, my goodness. By late game, this feels, this feels not great, to be honest with you. <laughs> Oh my goodness. Oh my... India. India. How many divisions do you have? Just guard your borders. You have 8 million manpower. You have no fuel, which I understand. You have 102 divisions. Go home, India. Defend the mainland. I did not bleed Canadian blood so you could lose all of India. Oh my goodness. Actually, that would be very good for, like, resistance and stuff. Like, they'd have a lot of resistance around here. Oh, Ireland. Look at that. That's not good either. That's why we need more manpower right now. Um, hmm. Hmm. Military police would be okay. I'll just get some more. Might as well. Oh my gosh. Please, just... India, please. Please, please, for the love of God, defend India! Uh, this is still not good. America, how big is your fleet? Please tell me it's a massive fleet. We need a massive fleet here. I still own Panama. Oh, no, Canada still owns Panama. At least that's good. The Navy? It's not bad. 217 v uh, vessels? Not many capital ships, though. That's kind of not good. Uh, better signal companies? You might as well. Makes your guys better, even stronger in the fight, so. Oh, another 100. Not bad. The Bo Beverage Report. Cool. Let's read what that does. Noted liberal economist, Beverage has decided the need to gather data on the current state of the British economy. Oh, God, they're attacking us. And possible ways that the government can help. It'll take some time to gather the data, and even acting, uploading together the report, and it feeds to those who want to see the government do something. We should give the Beverage the green light to go ahead with this project. As long as we don't lose, that's all I care about. Oh, my goodness. They're, they really want to kill us off, don't they? But this, this guy looks actually strong enough that he can actually push out in Hanover, probably. Maybe. Maybe not. Maybe, yes. Oh, goodness gracious. We're getting attacked on every front. Jesus Christ, this is not good. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, you guys can't win here. Oh, my goodness. Why are you guys so weak? Even you, you are pretty weak. Even though you're 40 combat with. Oh, my goodness, we lost it. We're going to lose it. Don't. Oh, they're getting smarter. They're slowly winning against us. Come on, guys. We have 4,000 manpower. Look at that. How many have we killed? We've killed off 111,000 of them. Nice. Very good. God dang it. This is so crap. Such crap. I swear to God, man. Oh, we lost Frankfurt. Austria has capitulated. No! You better defend those hills. Those mountains. I mean, they're not hills. Those are big hills. Massive hills. Uh, just hold for now. You don't want to lose. This is what we call a rolling defense. I could throw in the tanks, but I don't want to... Like, completely ruin the whole miles. Uh, yeah, let's come over here. Occupy territories. We have the infantry doing this stuff. Guard. What the heck? Guard cavalry division. Armor divisions? Yeah, you guys become armor divisions, please. There you go. Guard cavalry? I don't know why you guys are doing it like this. Uh, mobile. Become cavalry. Please. I don't know why we don't have a garrison division. Oh, actually, we do have it right there. I'm glad I didn't spend anything on that. Uh, we don't need that anymore. That's good. They should have out at least a little bit. There we go. That should be better. Now, resistance should go down now, since we should have enough manpower to do that. Yeah, that gives a little bit more manpower, which is nice. Very good, very good. We don't want to get encircled here. We should be able to hold us, especially as we fill out our armies a little bit. Oh, my God. Oh, my gosh. Holy crap. How can they attack us so well? Oh, they have air support, probably. Yeah, that's why. Looks like we're probably going to Germany, then. That sucks. 
That really sucks. I'm gonna get through at least one more focus before we end the episode, though. Oh my goodness. It pushes all the way back to France now. Good lord. There's not much we can really do. Dortmund? They're just so oppressive. America. This is so... This is why I don't like playing miners. And the UK is not a miner, but in their current position, they are. Because you can't help out too much. You can do, do just a little bit. And they're just sitting there. They're just sitting there. What are they doing, America? Come on. Seriously. Don't, don't, don't worry about that. Don't worry about that. Don't worry about that. Hey, the Irish question is gone. Great. Store for an office. Good. Uh, we're going to go restore the Echequer. Rebuilding the office of His Majesty's Echequer will also get the country's economy back on track. So, I'm going to leave this question to you guys. Should we do rely on foreign investment, regulate industrial growth, or do royal charter companies? Let me know in the, com in the description or comments below, not the description. Regardless, hope you enjoyed today's episode because it's gotten really, really wonky. If you liked it, though, consider leaving a like, subscribe if you're new, check out my Discord link in the description below, and I'll see you all tomorrow as Greece has done a really good job coming back. And we are struggling against all of our enemies. Thanks for watching, though, and have a great rest of your day.